man up. It's game time, everybody stand up. From my town, we doors, we ready for sure. From the field to the court, yeah, we ready for war. This is 845, Varsity man up. It's game time, everybody stand up. From my town, we doors, we ready for sure. From the field to the court, yeah, we ready for war. I said it's game time. Well, March Madness is almost here, and things are really heating up on the court. I'm Kevin Witt, and this is the final Varsity 845 basketball show of the regular season. Next week, Mira Wasev joins me right here as we break down the Section 9 Boys and Girls Basketball Tournaments. We think it'll be our best show yet, so get your big popcorn ready. But that doesn't mean this show is a clunker. Far from it. We're going to give you everything you need to know about local boys and girls basketball. We'll start with the girls. The Mid-Hudson Athletic League semifinals were held Tuesday night at Marist College. Mira was there and tells us this will be a rematch of last year's final as Highland plays Walk Hill at 6 p.m. Saturday at SUNY Ulster. Highland is the defending champion and beat Walk Hill in that game by a bucket. In the semifinals Tuesday, Walk Hill beat Aniora 57-36. Sarah Bender had 9 points, 15 rebounds, and 5 blocks for Walk Hill. Highland upset Coleman Catholic as Kaylee Olgeschlager had her best game of the season with 19 points. Over in the OCIAA, Stephanie Dolson led Minnesink Valley to a huge victory over Warwick. Cornwall clinched a Division III title with a victory home over Goshen. The Mid-Hudson Athletic League boys semifinals will be held at SUNY Ulster on Thursday. Coleman Catholic plays Spack and Kill in the 6 o'clock game. Red Hook and Rondell Valley take the floor at 8. Nobody asked, but I like Coleman and Red Hook to win, with Red Hook winning the title on Saturday. Moving across the section, Minnesink Valley clinched the OCIAA Division II title with an 83-74 victory over Washingtonville last Thursday. Minnesink Valley was led by, who else, Corey Quimby, who had 27 points and 18 rebounds. Both teams will be in the Section 9 Class AA tournament. Moving on to this week's feature. The Coleman Highland game featured a matchup of two of the area's top scorers, and both are point guards. Let's go to Mira for the story. Last time these two teams met, Coleman ran away with a 20-point victory. But when they met Tuesday night in the Mahal semifinals, it was much more competitive. <laughs> Coleman raced out to a 10-point lead behind the hot hand of Taylor Leonard, who nailed four three-pointers as Coleman took a 7-point halftime lead. Christy Mahano kept Highland within striking distance by repeatedly driving through Coleman's defense and finishing in the lane. Morano. But Morano got called for her fourth foul early in the third quarter with Highland trailing by three. Morano watched from the bench as her teammates picked up the slack offensively. We took her out uh, pretty much sat the entire third quarter, and uh, our girls have stepped up. Uh, Jess Duca, uh, Casey DeMeo, Olivia Pacheco, Julie Johnstone, just, they all stepped up. Kaylee Ogerschlager had a wonderful game. Highland took its first lead at 50-49 to with five minutes to play on Julia Johnstone's three-point play. Down the stretch, it became a battle of free throws as Highland's Olivia Pacheco hit four key foul shots. But on the flip side, Coleman went cold from the stripe. I think the difference is uh, foul shots. We just did not shoot the ball. We missed nine or ten foul shots. I tell the girls foul shots and lands win games. We deserve to lose tonight. The win sent Highland back to the Mahal Championship to defend its title from a year ago. From Marist College in Poughkeepsie, this is Mira Wasa for Varsity 845. This brings us to the ever-popular Plays of the Week. Check out Kingston's Rachel Coffey against Middletown. Back to the basket, throws a quick move, and scores. Coleman's Taylor Leonard with the pass to Annie Schultz. She dribbled, layup. That's two points. Here we go again. Kate Schultz to Annie Schultz. She dribbles, drives, and scores. That's it for this week. Remember, the Section 9 preview show is next week, and make sure you stay locked on Varsity845.com during the tournament, where we'll provide stories, video, and live scoring throughout. So, from Mira Wasef, I'm Kevin Witt.
game time, so it's time to score. If you're not playing to win, then what you playing for? From the field to the hardwood floor, win some and lose some. Just give it your all, whether it's basket, base, or football. It's all American, it's on when the season's here again. PYP, gotta play your position. Yeah. Gotta go hard, give it 110. Fans cheering in the stands, yeah, you gotta this love it. 845, Boston, man up. It's game time, everybody stand up For my town, we lost We ready for sure From the field to the court, yeah, we ready for war This is 845, varsity man up It's game time, everybody stand up For my town, we lost We ready for sure From the field to the court, yeah, we ready for war